Leo, what's poppin', baby? It's your boy, Andrew Cancel and Stereo, coming at you guys with your February 15th through the 28th love tarot reading, all right? Let's see what's poppin' for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus Leo. So hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below, baby, all right? Keep in mind, this read is general. It may fly, it may not. If it does, that's amazing. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers we got here on YouTube. If you're not sure if this video applies, wait around and see. And if you know this message definitely doesn't resonate, don't apply it to yourself. Engage in your free will, live your life, okay? Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. February 15th through the 28th. One last shuffle. Let's take a look and see what's cracking lacking between you and whomever you're dealing with, baby, okay? All right. Leo, energy between you and another person, two of swords, can be connected with an air sign, Aquarian tour, uh, Aquarian Taurus, huh? Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Gemini Libra Aquarian, okay? Let's take a look and see what's happening. There we go. Continuation is happening from last, or not even last month, because that was the whole full month, but this is the mid month, because of course energies can change. Let's take a look. You're disappointed. Five of Cups, what happened? Disappointed because whoever you're connecting with here, Six of Cups, can be dealing with the past, okay? This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You're connecting with a past partner, but you're still disappointed in them, and you're still disappointed in their actions. And I feel like right now you have a choice. That choice is to either focus on creating something new, releasing the past, or releasing what this person has done, or continuing to stay stuck on what they've done and not willing to move forward, okay? The thing about the past is that the past doesn't exist. And actually what science shows us is that every time we have this thing called the memory bank, right? In the memory bank in our, in our, in our bread, yeah, in our head. Now, in your memory bank, what's actually told from science is that every time you look back at a memory, we alter the memory we look at so that it goes a little bit more favorable into what we want. So do you ever fight with a person, Leo? And you're like, hell nah, because Leos, when you fight, you go hard, baby. And I love it because I got the Leo in me, okay? You right. The Leos are always right. You're not wrong, right? <laughs> and you got to keep in mind the other person's like, well, I ain't wrong either. Well, in reality, both of you probably have no idea what you're talking about because the way that you were both seeing it, you were altering it. As for the outcome, Seven of Pentacles, between you and this person, are we going to invest time is the question. Because this is a question. This isn't about you not giving the person time. This isn't about waiting. It's about, am I going to make the decision to invest time back into my past? Because I'm disappointed how it ended up before. Okay? What we're going to do is we're going to go with their feelings, your feelings, where the energies are aligning, and the outcome for the rest of February. Right? Now, in regards to who you're dealing with, Leo, let's take a look here. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. February 15th through the 28th. In regards to who they're dealing with, High Priestess can be connecting with the Pisces. See, I always say this, man. It always happens, okay? The past will always come back. And the reason why the past will always come back is because you got to get guided to it. Either the past is going to offer some sort of healing or the past is going to allow you to move forward, okay? That's what it does. So for most people, they always wonder, well, my ex isn't coming back. Your ex can come back in five years. Your ex can come back in 10 years. Your ex cannot come back at all. But maybe you get a new relationship with somebody that's just like your ex, okay? It's all about lessons, Let's learn these lessons, okay? In regards to who you're dealing with here, as I said, Ace of Pentacles, they're feeling guided. They're feeling as if right now what they truly want and desire is to have that new beginning, that new opportunity in love with you, and they are asking for a second chance. And it almost feels as if whoever you're connecting with here, Big Piscean Energy you got going on, the reason why they're asking for a second chance is because they feel stuck in this cycle of what had happened between you both to the point where they were wondering to themselves, would this turn out differently, all right? They were wondering, would this turn out different if we just tried again? Would this be a different thing if we just tried again? Would this help? Would I gain mental clarity? Would it go better? Would it go worse? I don't know, but this person feels optimistic to the point where it's like, well, I need to give it a second chance. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to put the thought of getting back together to rest. So whoever you're dealing with here, now they're craving that clarity, saying, you know what? I need one more chance to see what will happen. And of course, now that chance is on your watch and that's up to you. Now keep in mind, this can be who you're dealing with, but this could be you, Leo, and this could be the other person. Pick what side resonates, okay? Now in regards to your energy, Leo, let's take a look here. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. February 15th through the 28th. All right, let's take a look here. The Tower card, the Empress, ooh, baby. I can't pull that many cards, but ooh, baby. Let's take a look here. You feel like it never went in your favor. And I think you feel like right now in regards to love, 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 love never went in your favor. I've been having door chakra issues all day, baby, okay? Tom stamped out of it was funny, but please. Don't judge. <laughs> I'm having really bad through chakra issues today. Either way, though, Wheel of Fortune reverse. You feel like no, like love. Work with me here. You feel like love has never gone in your favor, right? So you're consistently feeling as if, why would this work this time? If they come back around, won't they just break my heart again? 
if they want to be back together with me, won't they just hurt me again? It's that belief system that you're holding on to. And that belief system that you're holding on to, partially, Leo, is coming from what you feel you're worth. Do you feel like you're worth this person's love? Or do you feel worthless? See, now that's a big factor that's going to pan out whether you two stay together or not, or whether you two reconcile or not. Because if you feel worthless, that vibration will carry out to the other person. Therefore, that person will treat you in a certain way. They will treat you like how you feel. See, people treat you how you feel about yourself. You shouldn't be feeling worthless when you are worthy and you're worthy of everything and anything. And if you don't want the sex, you're worthy of a better relationship or connection that's out there. Always remember that shit. Don't matter if my readings resonate, I'm gonna teach you shit anyways, okay? Now, moving forward though, we do have the tower card to the Ace of Swords. And this is basically you saying to the other person, listen, I'm not gonna lie, you fucked me up, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like everything's all dandy, you hurt me. You really broke me down to the core. Could have been a Scorpio here with the tower energy. But you're telling this person straight up, like, this is what you did to me. You put me at such a low point in my life that how can I trust you that this would be okay? Because the Ace of Swords is about trust too. So how could I trust that you really want to be with me and you really want to make it work while the other person over here says, you can't trust me, but you have to give it a shot if you feel as if it's worth it too. Because the other person ideally doesn't necessarily know if this will work out, but they're feeling guided to do it. Okay? Now, Empress card to the Knight of Cups. I think you also are deciding in a sense here too. For some, Leo, you may have children with this person. Now, of course, not all. But if you do have a child with this person, that may be making you want to reconcile or lean towards reconciling more just for the kids. But of course, pick it if you feel like you want to. Now, overall though, Empress card to the Knight of Cups. You're kind of debating right now. Is it better to get back together with said person or is it better to find somebody new that I can have a potential relationship with somebody I can potentially grow and expand with somebody I can plant my seeds with and create the best relationship ever is it better for me to offer my love elsewhere than offer it to where it's currently coming from because you saw how it happened you saw your past you saw how hurtful it was and you're not willing to go back there that's the biggest thing here. You're not willing to go back to the past. Now, the Cancerians have this kind of popping up too. So if you're a cusper here, this should be resonating with you, okay? All right, let's take a look here. Clarifying the High Priestess card. Yeah, Page of Wands. Whoever you're dealing with, they've probably been having dreams about you lately, Leo. Just saying whether you know it or not. You could have been having dreams about this person too. From what I'm seeing here, this person has been feeling extra like tender love and care lately. And they've been wanting that extra tender love and care. But there's no extra tender love and care except it's from a Leo. Leos give the best love, baby. And I know they do, okay? I got a Leo Venus. Leos give the best love. This person was missing your love because you were extra with it, but not extra in a bad way, Leo. Just the way you showed this person love and compassion, they were missing that. They were feeling empty. So where could they get it from you? You know what I'm saying? Now let's take a look and dive a little bit deeper into where the energies are aligning between you two. <clears throat> Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February 15th through the 28th. All right, let's take a look here and see what's happening. There we go. There we go. It's going to be a burden here because what do we do? What do I do? What is meant to happen? What is going to be my happiness? You see, you have to stay grounded, Leo. And I think this is all about confusion. Some of you are probably like, confused during this read. Don't be confused. I'll bring you back at the end, okay? You were once my world. This is what you're saying, Leo. You were once my world. You were once important to me. You were once everything to me. And in the last reading for February 2019, it was the conversation of can we talk? But it was never a decision. And right now, you still don't know where that decision lies. And I think that it's fucking you up mentally and emotionally. How do I make a decision? Because I can see myself growing with somebody new and I can see myself really expanding into being the person I want to be. And with the Four of Cups here, the Ten of Pentacles, you don't want to go to something that was stable. You don't want to repeat. You don't want to make another stable relationship and then you don't want to have that outcome of you two ignoring each other and you two hating each other and you two not offering love to each other. You just simply can't do it. And it's not that it's anything personal because I feel like a part of you deep inside, Leo, wants to get back together with this person. But at the same time, you are being so mindful of how you feel because you cannot physically and mentally and emotionally do this again. You cannot do this breakup again. You cannot have the thought of that in your head because your heart will break, your heart will snap, and you can't handle that. And I think that right now it's very important to focus more so on what's going to make you feel the best and this other person. Some will see it as an opportunity that's missed and you may just miss the opportunity with this person, Four of Cups. As for the overall outcome I'm seeing present between you two, let's take a look. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February 15th through the 28th. Yeah, the Five of Swords. 
You're laying it down to rest. You're not giving it a chance. You're not investing your energy in this person because you're realizing that your heart, your vulnerability, your safety is more important than giving this a second chance. And one thing I can tell you right now, Leo, is you may have wanted a second chance for the longest time. You may have wished for this person to come back. You may have dreamed for this person to come back. But the moment they came back, what happened? You got what you needed. You got your validation that this person cared. And you got your validation that you're worthy of a second chance. You got your validation that you're worthy to be loved. But then what also happened? You started feeling the emotions of what happened when there was the original breakup. And then it was like, I'm not going back there, but at least I know I'm loved. At least I know I'm cared for, and at least I know I'm validated. So that was your mental clarity. Getting the offer, not the reconciliation part. Getting the offer was your validity for you to be able to move forward and realize what you're worth. That's great. Now for the other person, I feel like they were wishy-washy with it anyways. So for them wanting to reconcile at the end of the day, I feel as if they would, when you decline, if you decline, because some may reconcile, not all will, but if you decline to the other person, I feel like they will get over it kind of quickly. At least in my opinion, from what I see here, I don't know everybody, but I feel like they would get over it kind of quickly, okay? But overall here, Leo, eight of wands, you're doing your thing. This came out in the pre-shuffle as well. Right now, you may be wanting to travel, you may be wanting to speak and communicate with other people, but I feel like right now, you want the feel for the world. You want the feel for the people that are really out there. Instead of going backwards, you wanna see what else is out there, to see what's more relatable to you, what's more fun to you, who is gonna serve you the best, or who is gonna be the best person that you fall deeply in love with and they do the same to you. It's just, you're seeing all these 7.5 billion people in the world and you're like, there's gotta be somebody out there that resonates more with me than this past relationship ever did. Okay? Leo, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. If it didn't resonate, better luck next time. Not every reading is going to resonate to you. That's okay, boo. Take care and have a great one, guys, and I'll catch you guys in March of 2019. All right? Peace.